Hi guys, um, it's Lynn here. I just wanted to show you a couple of junk journals that I have available for sale in my Etsy shop. These are uh, ring bound and I have used uh, hardcover book covers that I've um, reused and covered. Um, these are semi-naked. They're not really embellished. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of quick flip throughs. They will come with a kit like this that comes in a glassine bag and the kits are uh, similar so I'm going to just show you one of the kits um, that goes with these and so let's just uh, get to it. Um, I've covered them with uh, upholstery fabric and on the front here I've done a layering with doilies and paper doilies and a piece of a, another doily and images, vintage buttons, we have some other images and um, vintage book page and some sari silk and some lace on the edge and I will put the links down below for where I've gotten a lot of my images or where I usually get my images from um, various sources. And inside we have a full pocket here. It's made out of a linen napkin piece and some layering. And this is a, just a cotton-like quilting fabric. Here we have a, let me grab something to tuck. Here we have where you can uh, put a photo or some journaling. Everything is coffee or tea dyed. Um, there are about 50 pages, maybe one or two more. Um, that's 100 sides. So I kept adding and I did stop counting at 50. Um, it measures about 6 by 9 and the pages vary in size from that to smaller for those pocket pages and, and things like that. Um, lots of journaling space and the kit, when I uh, do show it to you at the end, uh, allows for a lot of personalization and decorating and making embellishments. Here's a little pocket paper doily, some coffee stained vellum. This is from an art book. I've also uh, reinforced all the holes with uh, distressed inked um, hole reinforcers. It's nice and grungy. An Italian book, um, music. I do like the, the ring bound. Oh, they're two inch rings. I, um, I do like that because it's um, so customizable. You can move pages, take pages out, add pages in. It's an Emily Dickinson poem page. Done a little bit of stenciling. Flip out. Dictionary page. There's another pocket. Scrapbook paper that has also been coffee or tea dyed. Here we have a flip up with some hidden journaling space and this is a glass bean bag so that's some more places to put stuff in. This is open at the top here. Another Italian page. Here's a lace page. Two little tucks here. Music paper. Um, here's a tuck, and this is another pocket. Just a little bit of lace on the edge here. A French book. They kind of are, you know, almost travel journal themed, but really totally customizable to what you like. Here we have that. Two pockets and the back here. I love this. This is another piece of the linen napkin with a pretty doily bit on top of that. That's the first one. And the second one, I think this one is my favorite. Again, the upholstery fabric. And this one we've got the vintage buttons and I've uh, done a little bit of gold 
leaf on some of these and the doily. This is a really grungy, crinkly paper doily that I've distressed. Another pretty image. Some tea dyed muslin, a bit of a doily and some tattered lace and then this really cool ruffled trim. There's a little garment, uh, safety pin with a butterfly charm and a little bit of twine and then lace on the edges. Inside we do have a pocket and again the cotton fabric. I've done a little bit of stamping here, journaling or add a photo. This has a tuck. A pocket here. And again, lots and lots of writing space or drawing and if you like to sketch. A pocket here. Another lace page. So they are both uh, pretty similar. Here's another glassy bag and you can tuck a bunch of stuff in there and another little pocket here. Flip out. I reinforce here with another little printable. That's another Italian book page. There's a tuck of there. Here I've just added a little bit of torn tea dyed fabric. And a bingo card it's from the 30s. And a tuck and a tuck here. More stenciling. There's a nice big pocket there. And flip out. Vellum, which I love the crunchy on that. Another book page from the art book. Here's another pocket. This is a sewn on to coffee dyed paper. And a piece of Tim Holtz paper there. And another pocket there. Again, the poems. Music paper, mat. French book, and this is another pocket here. And then there. Um, so that's the second one. And so I will show you the kit. I've taken one apart. Um, it's going to come in the glassine bag, which of course can be used as another pocket or page in the book. And I've included a length of twine. I like to bind these with twine. I've uh, included in case you the rings, if you want a more vintage rustic look, you can rebind it with the twine. And this is, they each come with a little fabric wrap, wire wrapped bead that a friend of mine, Lisa, made and gifted me. And I've created a lace covered tag that coordinates with it. And let me start here. We have a little file folder, and there's some scrapbook paper. It's another little, you can cut them out and embellish. Some vintage book pages. I love this one with the writing on it. This is the Italian book. A bridge score sheet. This is a printable. Another pretty scrapbook. Some more music paper. Um, file folder and an envelope. I like to make um, pockets out of these, cut the ends and embellish, but so many things you can do with that. And in this little pocket, which could be glued in onto a page, just a bunch of journaling. Tags, cards, you can make more pockets, a little ticket. Um, embellish your pages. In this one, also a pocket that could be used in the journal. Um, here is another sheet of reinforcers that I've distress inked. A couple of pages from two of my favorite vintage wildflower books. Just love these images. A flash card. Love this vintage postcard. 
and some more journaling cards that I've printed out. And Tim Holtz. This might be Tim Holtz or Seven Gypsies. A couple of shipping tags. Here's a pretty little a bridge tally as well, but little birds on it. This is a from a vintage little tiny notebook with graph paper and another little notebook with line paper and then a few guest checks. I believe there's six guest checks. And both kits are very similar, just maybe different colors or different um, printables that are included, but about 50 various pieces of embe embellishments or um, ephemera. And another bingo card. There's also a piece of a table runner and a length of one yard of lace. And here's another little bag that can be used in the journal. And this contains a couple of coin envelopes, some various tags, here's another little vintage postcard, a little laser cut wood piece, tag, and some Latin um, flashcards and here's another little envelope and this just has a few die cuts in it that, uh, these were also gifted to me and uh, passing them along I have so many of them but flowers and things that you can use to decorate the journal and then in this little glassine envelope let me zoom in a little um, We've got another little teeny tiny glassine envelope. And then just a bunch of vintage buttons. We've got some paper clips, um, garment pins, a Tim Holtz pin, uh, Tim Holtz clips, um, a little vintage looking flower petal you could attach to a page or tuck in the glassine envelope. And here's a little charm that I made using an old vintage wooden checker piece. And with flowers on it, you could put this on the outside of the journal if you like. I'm gonna clip it on there. Um, so that is it, and I'm really happy with this. And I wanted to just try something different instead of fully embellishing the journals. I just wanted to see because I know some people prefer to do everything themselves, and some people want more journaling space than you know highly decorated pages. So I appreciate everyone watching. And I thank you, and I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. Oops. And take care. I'll be back soon. Thank you.